Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. You know, when we start talking about the grim darkness of the far future, there's not a lot of models that I'm really satisfied with if we're going to play a good and proper game that, you know, takes place in such an atmosphere. Uh, maybe you might see me hedging towards the chaos stuff, but more likely than not, that anime nerd inside me is always going to go aligning themselves with the greater good. And for the most part, if I'm going to be going for the greater good, you can pretty much guarantee I'm going to be running stuff from Piper Makes because Piper Makes hands down the coolest, most hardcore, crazy amount of variety in terms of parts for various drones and mechs. But sometimes you need something to run along with all those mechs and drones and crazy heavy artillery. Not to disparage Piper stuff because I absolutely love it. But... War Games Exclusive, who I've mentioned before I've been doing this, um, in fact, I think I may have done some videos years back, have been slowly but steadily been putting out quite an interesting variety of models representing the more physical side of the, or biological side, I guess I should say, of the greater good. And recently they put out a kill team, and I was just like, oh, I need to have these guys. Because why not? Now, what's crazy is this guy is not even glued together. And we've got a whole team of them. And unfortunately, I printed them all at the same time, which led to some real fun. Because while maybe not as crazy, complex, and hardcore as the stuff that Piper tends to put out. And I mean, I'm, I'm not kidding. If you haven't had a chance, go take a look at Piper stuff, even though that's not what this video is about. Um, War Games Exclusive has been putting out some really charming, very characterful sculpts for, like I said, the more biological side, if that's what you want to be running for the greater good. And so I saw these guys, and one of the nice things that's always struck me about War Games Exclusive is the fact that they are modelers models. There is not a single figure that is one cast piece. Everything is going to require you to build it. And as you can see, his head popped right off along with his backpack, of course, as soon as I pick it up. Those hands are dry fitted as well, which is actually really impressive. Uh, one of the cool things is actually all of the major parts are going to be keyed separately for every figure. So you don't have to worry necessarily about the arms getting mismatched. Here we have one of the snipers. And I guess one of the comments that I could throw towards War Games Exclusive is the fact that their female models tend to be very scantily clad. That's always been the case. Uh, but they do often have both a more clothed version and a more naughty pinup version, if that's something you're looking for. Not every female model they've done, but quite a few have had both, you know, PG and the PG-13 slash R-rated versions. So if that's something of interest to you, you might want to check that out too. But I did love the fact that we've got such an interesting team. And I also wanted to point out the fact, besides that nothing is actually attached, I did glue her, but like all the backpacks, like I said, separate key, it's got a square, he's got a diamond, and they're different sizes, and obviously of different shapes. Uh, we've got our cool little assassin bro here. All of their heads are actually totally modular, and with some of the other releases, uh, the arms are actually all keyed the same way, so if you really wanted to get funky mixing and matching before you actually had to start cutting bits and pieces off and gluing, there's already that capability built in with a lot of the models. Now, I did go ahead and actually glue on a lot of the heads just to figure out who's who, because the female models were getting to be kind of confusing as to which head was which. But it doesn't matter because, like I said, they're totally modular with each other. And there goes another arm. Helps if even my poor printer can get this stuff printed. Uh, recently they had an Easter Bunny model. I mean, when my printer can get the fishnets out, that's always impressive to see. And yes, her head is actually keyed up just like the other ones. If you wanted to have bunny-eared, ponytailed... Okay, that, let me find a body that doesn't have a head glued on, or did I actually glue them on already? I guess I glued all the heads on, because I was getting myself confused. Problem is, with our Easter Bunny, we have individual hands that are going to need gluing, so I just have not bothered doing that yet. 
and she's got little Easter egg drones. Which if you wanted to adorn all your bases, could be something worth checking out. And if you want other models that tend to align with the greater good, they have those as well. They recently had a lizard shaman. Again, I haven't actually glued anything yet. They also have some of the smoothest, and I, I say that with without any trepidation, and considering how many things I tend to print, uh, the smoothest support removal I have experienced from a lot of different companies. I mean, it's just like, boop, and they're done. And looking at the actual supports, they look so ridiculously minuscule, and the fact that they all come out with no issues whatsoever is quite impressive. So this is the only other piece besides the head for our shaman here is the pipe that she is holding. And yes, the models do tend to be overwhelmingly female. They all are not female though. So if that's something of an issue, because I know sometimes that irritates people, do bear in mind that not all of them are. You can see there are two male and what was it? Three female members of this kill team here. She's supposed to be throwing grenades. And they all have custom guns as well. They're not too big, not too small. Somewhere at some point in my life, I did own some actual towel models from GW where they are. I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> they should exist somewhere on my shelf still. That's okay, they'll just hang out with some of the Gobi drones. Which again, are actually pretty well scaled with these guys. They've had some cool tech models for their Greater Good line. And speaking of tech, another thing that War Games Exclusive has just put out is a set of mechanical Chocobo chicken mech riders, which I thought were very kind of fun take on the mounted mechanical adept you don't want to put together okay fine let's just take a look at how many parts of this model one of the models of this set is going to consist of a whole lot of pieces so if that is something that you know gets you excited and interested like it did me because absolutely when i see a bunch of parts like this and they all fit together quite nicely dry fitted which sometimes with 3d printing stuff that can be a bit of an issue sometimes i mean i'll admit i've had a hard time sometimes dry fitting a lot of different companies pieces i have not had that issue so much with war games exclusives 3d bits and like i say that and then of course i can't get this leg in anyway i'm going to stop rambling do yourselves a favor take a look at it um, I'm going to do a follow-up video once I've got these things all finished getting glued together, but also because I've got a pile of their orcs all based on various famous singers that I've wanted to show off. I'm going to get those built because all of those guys are at least anywhere from 8 to 12, 13 pieces. And I didn't even mention that almost every one of their other sets, actually most sets, all have optional parts as well. So that's always kind of fun to have. If you haven't had a chance, like I said, take a look. We'll have that link down there below, and hopefully you find something that you enjoy as well. And with that said, then, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching, and we will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.